tau overflows the more loving you are less the possibility of any relationship the moment love becomes a relationship it becomes a bondage because there are expectations there are demands and there are frustrations and in addition to this there are efforts from both sides to dominate it becomes a struggle for power two persons can be loving together the more loving they are less is the possibility of any relationship the more loving they are the more freedom exists between them the more loving they are less is the possibility of any demand any domination any expectation and naturally there is no question of any frustration one very learned american rabbi joshua lehman has written a book peace of mind it is one of the best sellers lehman is a good writer and the book is very well presented however the title is wrong the peace of mind it has been chosen unconsciously it never struck him and he never considered that peace of mind has never existed and it cannot exist peace of mind is intrinsically impossible peace happens only when mind is not it is not the peace of mind instead it is peace beyond mind it is almost like a lotus flower lotus flower grows in mud and water it is the miracle of the nature that out of dirty mud and water it brings out one of the most beautiful flowers in existence the mud and water are not the lotus flower lotus flower blossoms only when lotus plant has gone beyond the mud and beyond the water and this is transcendence beyond both then it opens up itself to the sun to the sky and releases its fragrance beauty and luster although it comes from the mud it is not mud anymore instead it is transcendence the same is true about peace the same is true about love mind is muddy all kinds of relevant and irrelevant thoughts are jumbled there it is a crowd so with many fragments fighting with each other that you can call it as a battlefield mind cannot be at peace but you can go beyond the mind because you are not the mind you can transcend and become the lotus flower your mind can become pure like lotus flower then there is peace there is beauty there is bliss and all that you have always dreamt about but have had no experience of so too is love sex is muddy and out of the mud of sex the lotus of love blossoms one day there is a confusion in each one of us it does not go and come it is embedded in your mind the message remains the same only the form changes the solution of that message is the only way to transcend the mind 
the watcher is always above the mind watcher is never part of the mind human mind is just like a tv screen on which thoughts dreams imaginations projections desires and a thousand and one things go on passing transcendence is the only we the loving state is unattrist you can be in that loving state and i am not preventing you from being in the state of love also no one can ever present you to be in that state and you can be the state of love only when you drop the old mind patterns of relationship love is not a relationship two persons can be very loving together the more loving they are less is the possibility of any relationship the more loving they are the more freedom exists between them the more loving they are the less is the possibility of any demand any domination any expectation and naturally there is no question of any frustration i have allowed certain people to have their real or imaginary imaginary love relationship with me i know perfectly well that their relationship is not reliable therefore for the simple reason that unless they are with me there is no possibility of transforming their relationship into the state of being to some i have allowed a kind of imaginary relationship real or imaginary relationship so that one day they learn how to transform relationship into the state of being and this state of being is lovingness is the transcendence beyond lust and that's where the lotus of love blossoms for me relationship is a kind of acting so that one day you attain to a state of being and once you have attained to being then whenever you are relating with anyone it is out of that state of beingness not out of relationship and you will be more interest you will not be any more interested in any relationship now your love has transcended the mud of lust and longing the lotus of love has blossomed it is spreading its beauty around you it is ready to dance under the sunlight in the wind and the rain drops once your relationship is transformed into a state of being you can relate to anyone but you will not be interested in creating any relationship now <coughs> because you have seen the beauty of the state of being or the state of love and once you have experienced the nectar experience the beauty and fragrance of the lotus of love through the state of being you will be no more interested in creating any more relationship 
and then it is ready to soar in the infinite sky. Allow, this is the reason that I inter an awakened one interacts with seekers so that one day out of this real or imaginary relationship the seeker can experience the state of being, the state of being within and that happens when the lotus of love has grown beyond the mud of lust and longing. Remember, no relationship is reliable and particularly with a person with whom the relationship is one-sided. It is like a bridge which is supported only by one bank or one shore of the river and the other bank does not support it. It is like hanging in the air and it is bound to fail. This is how your all love relationships have been. They are hanging on one pole. The other pole is not supporting it. The love, it is like a bridge. Bridge supposed to be supported by the two shores or two banks of the river. It helps you to cross from one bank to the other bank to reach, to cross the river, the river of consciousness. And when the bridge is hanging on one shore, then you cannot cross. You cannot attain to the state of transcendence. You cannot experience your beingness. The lotus of love will not blossom to spread its beauty and fragrance in the existence enough for now.